This tutorial is the first of three tutorials that cover creating the preliminary pages for theses and dissertations at Mississippi State University. Covered in this tutorial are the title page, copyright page, and committee approval page. A link to the guidelines put forth by the MSU Graduate Council can be found in the description. The first step in creating your preliminary pages from a blank Word document is to disable the autocorrect features in Word. Select the Office button, click on Word Options, and select Proofing. Click on the Autocorrect Options and select the Auto Format as You Type tab. Uncheck all boxes except for the straight quotes with smart quotes. Additional helpful tools are the rulers, which can be turned on and off using the button above the vertical scroll bar, and the vertical page position, which can be selected by right-clicking on the status bar at the bottom of the window. To set your page margins, click on the Page Layout tab and select Margins. Click Custom Page Margins at the bottom of this list. The top, bottom, and right margins should be set to 1 inch, and the left margin should be set to 1.5 inches. Click back to the Home tab and select a standard serif font, like Times New Roman, and increase the point size to 12. Click on the Line Spacing button in the Paragraph group. Single, double, and triple spacing is used throughout this document. Set this to double spacing to begin the title page. Click on the Line Spacing options again and notice the options at the bottom for spacing between paragraphs. If you have an option to remove spacing, remove it. Using your rulers or vertical page position as guides, enter down three and a half inches from the top of the page. Notice that you might not get your cursor exactly to 3.5, but as long as you have cleared that mark, you have met the requirement. Enter your title in all caps. Enter down about one more inch and type the word BY. Enter down and type your full name, leaving one blank line of space between BY and your name. Now enter down an inch and a half. Change your line spacing to single and enter your degree statement. Press Enter three times to leave two blank lines of spacing and type in the location. Press Enter two more times, leaving one blank line, and enter the expected month and year of graduation. To check your line spacing, the Show Hide Paragraph Marks button in the Paragraph group can help. After the graduation date, insert a section break by clicking on the Page Layout tab, Breaks, and Next Page under Section Breaks. The text on the copyright page is centered horizontally and vertically. To center your text vertically, click on the Call Out button in the Page Setup group. Click on the Layout tab and change the vertical alignment to Center. Type your copyright information, leaving one blank line between the word by, your name, and the year. Enter another section break and change the vertical alignment back to top. Leaving two inches of space from the top of the page, enter your title double spaced exactly as it appears on the title page. Move down one inch and enter your byline, double spaced as it appears on the title page. Leaving one more blank line after your name, 
Left align your text and type the word approved, followed by a colon. Change back to single spacing and press enter four times to leave three blank lines of space. In inserting the signature lines and committee names, we can use a table. Click on the Insert tab, click on Table, and select a 3 by 4 table. In the left and right columns, enter the committee member's name, title, and role, followed by three blank lines. Using the column handles in the top ruler, drag the middle column to be the width of the word by. Make sure that the right column is still lined up with the 6 inch mark so it falls within the 1 inch right margin. Select the table by clicking on the directional arrows at the top left corner of the table. You will notice the Table Tools tab at the top of the ribbon. From the Design tab, click the drop-down arrow next to Borders and select No Border. Then, click in the first cell next to the first committee member's name. Click the drop-down arrow again and select Top Border. Repeat this step for each cell. To show or hide the grid lines of a table, click on the Layout tab and select View Grid Lines from the left-hand side. When you click outside of the table, the table tools will disappear. Insert another section break to move to the next page.